Welcome to Electra Online. Now there are types of problems where you try to find the acceleration of the system where you have to use the torque equals I times alpha but the technique of how to get to the final answer is a little bit different. You're going to use both the equation F equals MA and torque equals I alpha. Essentially you use this equation first to find the tension in the system. Now once you find the tension you use F equals MA to find the acceleration. Case in point, the yo-yo. Here, if you draw a free body diagram around it, we see the weight of the yo-yo pointing down, the tension in the string pointing up. But what is that tension? Well, we use this equation, torque equals I times alpha, and again, the torque will be the force applied to the yo-yo, which causes it to rotate, which is the tension, times the radius. And that equals the moment of inertia, 1 half mr squared if it's a solid disk, and times the ratio of A over R, which is the angle of acceleration. Solving that for the tension, we get tension equals one half M times A. M, of course, being the mass of the yo-yo. So let me go ahead and put an M in there. All right, now we go to F equals MA with the free body diagram. The force, the net force will be the force aiding the acceleration, MG, minus the force opposing acceleration, which is T. So the difference of that must be the mass times acceleration. Solve that for A, you get A equals 2 thirds G. That's of course why the yo-yo appears to be accelerating so slowly as it goes down because it has moment of inertia. It takes energy to get it to rotate, so the acceleration is slower. But that is how a problem like that is done.